Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, we'll have a quick re review of uh, uh, the latest concepts that have been introduced in SAP BAP 7.4. Uh, the new syntax which we have in 7.4 uh, is what we are going to look at in this session. So here we have uh, BAP 7.40, a quick reference. Uh, first, the first topic would be the inline declarations. So uh, basically, this is one of the major uh, major change that we have been seeing in the 7.40. Before 7.40, the data statement would be something like data text type string text is equals to abc this is how we used to uh, declare it and uh, assign the value first we need to we used to declare the declare the variable and then we we would assign the data to it but the inline inline declarations we have data in, in bracket we have text is equals to abc loop it into work area this what we have is we used to declare the work area data wa like line type of i tab then we, we we would write loop at I tab into work area the internal table into work area but here in the inline declarations we'll write loop at i tab which has been uh, already declared into data wa so we are declaring the work area then and there itself within the loop statement and then we have the call method in the call method we have data a a1 type uh, whatever declaration that we have data a2 type something and uh, here uh, we we would declare the properties there for a1 and a2 and then we used to use it in the in the in the class in object so we have oref mapping to met meth that's a method so we have the object pointing towards a method and then in that importing p1 is equals to a1 p2 is equals to a2 this is how we used to declare in the previous uh, syntax but the in the latest syntax in the 7.40 uh, in the inline declaration, we will be directly writing ORF, that's the object name, uh, pointing to method and importing P1 is equal to data of A1. So we are declaring the A1 then and there itself within the uh, within the uh, importing concept. And then we are writing P2 is equal to data of A2. Now we have loop at assigning. Uh, when we are do when we are doing the loop at assigning, when we have the field field symbols, we'll be doing as we'll be writing the assigning. So loop at attack assigning to line and the line will be of type internal table. So now here we use, we would be writing here something like loop at i type assigning field symbol and line. So we are will be directly writing internally inside the loop. We will be writing directly assigning field hyphen symbol and the line. Uh, read assigning. So when we want to read uh, anything from the table and then assign it to the field symbols also we, we, would, we would have been declaring the field symbols first and then we used to write the read statement but in in, in the latest 7.40 statement we will be writing the read table the i tab assigning field hyphen symbol line so then we have the select into table so we have data I tab type table of D, D, db tab select star from db tab into table i tab where fldl fld1 is what we have is equals to lv underscore fld1 then we have the select star from db tab to table data i tab data of i tab so we, we we are declaring instead of declaring i tab separately we are declaring within the select statement we are declaring the data of i tab where fld1 is equals to at the rate lv underscore fld1 that, that's the value that we have here then select single into so select single into we used to declare like this into lb underscore f1 lb underscore f2 here we are, we are having this ls underscore structure which we are declaring here itself but here lb underscore f1 and lb underscore f2 we we, we, have, we had declared it previously we are using it here and then we have into the ls underscore structure where uh, write ls underscore structure hyphen my underscore f1 ls underscore structure hyphen abc so this is what we have with, with the write statement so write statement is common but here into statement we are writing the data of ls underscore structure we are declaring within the select statement the second one would be the table expressions so if a table line is not found the exception cx underscore sy underscore i tab underscore line underscore not found is raised and uh, not the size of rc so here if we see a read table index before 7.40 it was like read table i tab index idx into wa this is how we used to write it but whereas in in the 
the inline declaration, I mean like in the latest 7.40, uh, we will be writing it something like WA is equals to I tab of IDX and read table using P. So here we used to write it like something like read table I tab index IDX using P and P into WA. So the same thing we will be writing WA is equals to I tab of P and the key field index IDX. Then we have read table with key. So we have read table I tab with key column 1 is equals to and column 2 is equals to and into WA. So we have WA is equals to I tab column 1 is equals to and column 2. So this is what we have in the 1.40. So we have read table with key. This is how we used to write in the previous. Right now how we are writing it. Description read table with key component. So in this what we have is read table I tab with table key key components column 1 is equals to something column 2 is equals to something into both area now here we will be writing something like the same thing we will be writing it like this wa is equals to i tab of key and key column 1 is equals to the value and then column 2 is equals to the value of the column 2 so whatever exactly is the value for which we have to read the data so here the same read statement we are writing it in this way in the 1.40 so does record exist if you want to check whether the record exists or not we'll be writing it like this read table i tab transporting no fields if size of rc is equal to zero so here if you see there is no size of rc concept here if line underscore exists of i tab in the bracket we'll be writing that value uh, and end if if, it, if at all if you can write it like this we can check within the safe statement itself within the single if statement we can check whether the uh, values are there for that particular uh, record uh, the, for the assigned value uh, do we have the data in the i tab or not we can check it like this now get table index if at all if you want to get the get table index we used to declare idx type type that's why tab x read table transporting no fields and ID, uh, idx is equal to sy tab x so uh, sy tab x will have the number of uh, you know uh, table index and that table index used to be stored in idx here we will be writing directly data of idx is equals to line underscore idx line, line underscore index and uh, a tab of some value this is how we will be writing it now there will be a short term if you use an inline expression that references non-existent record so the so sap says you should for assign a field symbol and check size of rc so assigning it underscore tab of one to field symbols less underscore tab so if size of rc is equal to zero and if and then we'll check the value so use i tab tab underscore line is equal to something uh, for untyped tables and then we have something called conversion operator conv so for conversion operator we have conv d uh, say d is some, some variable type uh, hash and uh, within the bracket we will be writing that so d type is equals to type you want to convert to explicit like hash is compiler and must use the context to decide the type to convert to implicit and and we have an example here so method cl underscore abap underscore code page this is a class you know pointing towards convert in underscore two expects a string so here if you see before 7.40 we used to declare something like this text type c length 255 helper type string exist str type x string so helper is equals to text now we are writing helper is equals to text so automatically the value of uh, text will come to helper so x str is equal to cl underscore abap underscore code page pointed towards convert underscore two and here we have source is equals to helper this is how we used to write the previous code but the same code can be written like this so we can write directly data text type c length 2255 we will be not writing the helper type string so we have data x str is equal to cl underscore abap underscore code page pointing towards convert underscore two and source is equals to convert string text so the same thing can be written like this data xstr is equal to cl underscore abap underscore code page pointing towards convert underscore two and source is equals to convert text so this is what we have so instead of writing it like this we are writing help and xstr so to avoid that we will be writing it like this in the with 
in the sub 0.40 now value operator so if at all if you are having the value operator here for example we have definitions variables is equal variables value d type and uh, we have uh, a hash the brackets so structures value d type hash and component 1 is equals to a1 component 2 is equals to a2 tables value d type and then we have the components here the example for structures is begin of y underscore columns into structure columns 1 type i columns 2 type i so end of ty underscore columns 1 is what we have here so we'll be writing it like this begin of ty underscore column 2 and coln 1 type i coln 2 type ty underscore columns 1 end of ty underscore columns 2 so this is a structure here and then we are declaring the uh, we are declaring the values like struct underscore simple type ty underscore columns 1 this will be the work area and struct underscore nest type ty underscore column 2 now here we have struct underscore nest is equals to value t underscore struct and then we are opening the bracket column column 1 is equals to 1 column 2 hyphen column is equals to 1 and column 2 is equal column 2 hyphen columns 2 is equals to 2 or struct underscore nest is equals to value t underscore struct column 1 is equals to 1 column 2 is equals to value hash columns 1 is equals to 1 columns 2 is equals to 2 so this is what we write uh, in the struct next examples for internal tables elementary line type so types i type i types t underscore i type type table of t with mt key data i type type t underscore i type we have i type is equals to value hash and uh, brackets we have open bracket and then we have the one and two so structured line type ranges table so we have data i type type range of i so i type is equals to value hash and then we have the sign sign i so what exactly we are doing here is in the elementary data type we are declaring the table i at t underscore i type type table of i with empty key and here the values we are declaring it like this uh, instead of previously we used to declare it like into the work area and then we have we used to append it right so and now the same thing uh, we, we used to do it for the for the elementary data type if you are seeing i type is equals to directly we are writing value hash one and two and then we have the structured line types in this we have this range so i type is equals to value uh, hash sign is equals to i option is equals to bd low is equals to one and high is equals to ten so for the uh, for this particular values in low low is equals to one low is high is equals to ten low is equals to 21 high is equals to 30 low is equals to 41 high is equals to 50 so option is equals to greater than or equal to and low is equals to 61 so this is how we used to write we used to write uh, we will be writing it in the uh, 7.4 then we have the for operator so in the for operator we have the definition for uh, for wa and the field symbol in i tab index into ix condition so explanation is this effectively causes a loop at i tab so for each loop the row read is assigned to a work area or field symbols this work area or field symbol is uh, local to the expression that is if declared in a subroutine the variable the work area or field symbol is a local local variable of that particular routine actually so index like uh, sy hyphen tab index in loop so given begin of I mean, this is a structure begin of ty underscore is ship and the shipment we have this data this is a regular declaration that we do normally so in the gt underscore ships type ty underscore hips has been populated as follows so now we have this data here so this example i'm going to explain you again in detail in the next coming session the fifth point is what i'm going to discuss with you all in the next session so that's it for this particular session thanks for watching this video uh, and i would continue the fifth point in the, in the next coming session thanks for watching this video if you, if you like this video do click on the like and if at all if there is anything that you want uh, any, any new topic on which you want me want us to make a video please write it in the comments and uh, do share it with your friends and 
do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you have a great day